Hey guys, Joshua Peterson here, uh, Peterson Electric. I wanted to show you something about a customer's house that asked us to come in about these two prong ground, the two prong outlets with no grounds. This house was wired in the 50s. Um, you know, I made a video about three years ago on if we install a GFCI outlet and it has no grounding on the downstream of it or the upstream. First of all, how do you know? And second, will the GFCI work to put it in the line side or all the other plugs? This is assuming that your neutrals aren't mixed up in a light box from the 60s or in a switch box or something, or just attached from wall to wall between two circuits in the shipment bin. Typically where you see the neutrals mixed up is gonna be in a two, three gang uh, outlet or in a two gang outlet on a stairway serving a three way system across the hall or up the stairs. But what I want to focus on is showing you, and I want to prove, um, I don't mean to be dogmatic, but those guys that have been uh, emailing me or um, Googling me and, and leaving feedback, I just want to prove you guys wrong. All you have done is left some really nasty messages over the last 36 months. So I want to prove to you in the field that you're absolutely incorrect, and I'm going to show you how to test it. So simple outlet right here with a simple or a simple bowl. The line side of this GFCI is down below. Okay. So right here you'll see the light bulb on. I'll come to the load side right here. And cam go ahead and bring the camera just so you can see that I did hook this up correctly. I don't have two blacks down below and two whites down below. Okay, now I'll take and trip this by using the neutral on the line side, and the GFCI doesn't like that. And I will reset it. I will prove to you that right here, I can pull into this tamper proof, and here's my neutral and hot, okay? I will go to my ground, and nothing will trip, because I have no ground. Now, let's go over here. This is the line side, because the panel's just, go ahead and come right here. The panel is just, right on the other side of this wall. I will show you that this is the downstream further from the panel. Now, this is my load side going that way. Here's my line side. Okay. So if I trip my GFCI right here, and red means dead, I'll come back over here there's nothing. Okay. Go ahead and I'll reset it again. My point here is I will prove to you that a GFCI, if not put in every single opening, is not protected. Okay. I'm going to blow out the circuit. 